John Wesley was the founder of the Methodist Church. He lived in the 1700s. Beginning in the Anglican Church, he went on to form a new denomination, which is now one of the largest Protestant denominations in the United States. Unfortunately, this denomination is in turmoil currently. As I do this video, it's uh, April 2021, and they are having a disagreement about homosexuality, whether gays and lesbians can be married in the church and can be ordained as leaders and bishops of the church. I think it will help us to kind of stay with the traditions of Methodism, which are based on Wesley's love of the scriptures and adherence to them to see how he might comment on the words in the Bible that have to do with homosexual relations. One of the main passages having to do with homosexual relationships, gay and lesbian, is in Romans chapter 1. Here is a verse from Romans chapter 1 which condemns homosexual practices. It's different from saying that somebody may be tempted by homosexual relationships, but if they acted on them, these are positions of impropriety, and they're not compatible with Christian teachings, as the current United Methodist Church policy says they are incompatible. What did Wesley write? as he wrote in his commentary about the Bible, when it came to this particular verse, here it is. It's a short paragraph in which he calls this kind of sexual desire and this sexual action to be unnatural, to be contrary to the will of God, to be a form of grave error that comes from being drawn away from God. Anything that draws us away is idolatry, and idolatry leads to more idolatry. But review, dear viewer, the words of Wesley about this verse. Is he not agreeing with it? Is he not condemning homosexual behavior? If you were to go to his explanatory notes about Jude, the small book just before the book of Revelation in the New Testament, you would see a similar referral in the chapter that comprises the single chapter of the book of Jude. And he refers to homosexual behavior with similar words. If John Wesley's words are meaningful to you, if they seem in accord with the word of God, then pay heed to them and turn towards them. I'm praying for all of you in Jesus' name. Amen.